welcome to this week's Monday Minutes. My name is Kelly. And my name is Jesse, and we are back to showing you some cool 2211 enhancements that are coming in the next release. Today, we're going to talk to you about a way for you to add a little more information to the fines that you may have for your patron accounts. Kelly's going to show us how we can do this in the template toolkit for our notices and slips, and then what you'll see in the patron's account. You know, Jesse, I actually think this probably is the first time that we are using notices in this way. So this is really a kind of a different way to utilize the um, notices and slips in pushing out what we change in a notice to what we see in Koha. So let's get into that. Okay. Um, as Jesse said, we are focusing on what your fine descriptions look like. So let me just pull up a patron that has fines and show you what they they look like and they will continue to look like for users. Nothing is changing unless you want it to change. So we're going to focus on just this description tab here. This is the, it's hard coded. It just has your title of the book and the due date. So that's always there in your fine description. What is coming in 2211 is the ability to alter what you have in this field using notices. So let's pop over to notices and slips. We've added a new notice. It's kind of deceiving because it is not going to be sent to anybody. And it's called overdue fine description. We are going to edit the print option here because of course we're not sending this out to anybody. So by default, I'm going to highlight by default what is going to be in your notice and slip in 2211. Title, checkout date, and Koha dates. What I've done for an example is I've added a barcode and I've added um, my initials. Let me just get rid of this other one. It's in there twice. And as Jesse said, this is template toolkit. So if you do need assistance, um, there are resources out there. But, you know, if you are a partner and you need help putting in some more details, please let us know. I also just, you know, put in my initials just to show you could put in regular text if you so wanted to, just okay. in as, in as, as an example. But in our example, we're adding barcode because when you do delete an item from your collection and somebody has been billed for a fine on that, the barcode actually disappears from that description. So now you would have it always living there with this addition in the overdue fine description notice. Oh, this is, this is good because I feel like a lot of times we'll get questions about that. If they mm -hmm. remove something from the collection, it's damaged. It didn't have high circs, time to get rid of it. It moves on, but somebody did pay for it. We could go back now and even search by that in their table. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Love it. Exactly. So let's pull up, um, a patron who once these changes were made to the notice and the fines were run again, these will be reflected, those changes. So this is not a retroactive change. This is only going to make any changes to um, future overdue fines once you make any changes to that notice. So here we go. We have this, um, still the title, the due date, and then there is the barcode. So you can see it matches here, 315139, and there are my initials. Now, see, there is the barcode, Jesse, but once I delete this, it mm -hmm. is truly going to, this barcode yep. linkage will go away and you'll still retain that. So, you know, I think this is fantastic. This is actually, this was a partner recommendation who's now come over to Bywater Lizette um, that made this bug. And I love to see when somebody's bug, um, you know, makes it into Koha community because it's a library using Koha. So this is really fantastic. So again, a notice to, you know, control what's in a description is kind of new and fun, but, you know, something you can maybe see more of in the future. I don't know. Yeah, no, this is great. Good. I can say that I've been asked this question many times, you know, we can't see what the barcode number is and we just need to do some research. This is, this is great. So this will help a lot of people. Absolutely. Absolutely. And just, you know, something new coming in 2211 to look forward to. Yeah. All right. Okay. Have a great week. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.